your name and where you're joining us from. So just go ahead. Your name and where you're joining us from. I want to get to know you. I know that we're many now in the club, um, but I want to know as many as I can. I mean, if my brain can store all um, 3,500 people's names, I gladly will. So thank you. Daniel from Kaduna. Samuel from Ebonyi. Interesting. Daniel, again, from Lagos. That's two Daniels now. Daniel from Lagos. Shegun from Lagos. Fantastic. You're welcome. You're welcome. I think we have a lot of Lagosians in the house. UB from Lagos. Fantastic. You're welcome, UB. Dutra from Lagos. Fantastic. Fantastic. Sharon from Lagos. A lot of the Amos from Kadisen from Benin. Paul D.A. from Niger State. Amen. Sayo from Dublin, Ireland. I want to know you, bro. Welcome. You're welcome. Emeka from Wari. Hey, this is going so fast. Remy Lekun from Ogun State. Tobina from Lagos. Tunde from Abel Kota. Olubu Sayo from Lagos. Um, Ojo, Ojo Olakme from Lagos. Yeah, hello, Ojo Olakme. Um, Essay from Bayelsa. Temito oh, my, my God. Nigeria is represented here. Timmy Tokwe from Lagos. All right, all right, all right, all right. Anyone else, anyone else, anyone else? If you have not yet put in your name and where you are joining us from, please do so right away. Please do so right away. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, from Worry. You know, interestingly, my mom is actually from Worry, so I'm a Worry boy by blood. <laughs> I'm a Worry boy. I like, I like, I like um, the Worry people. I like their sincerity, the fact that they don't, they don't, they don't mince words, you know, they just say it as it is. All right, Ishaku from Zaria, Olawale from Ibadan, Clever, Clever, Don, Clever Don from Ekiti. I apologize if I didn't pronounce well. Akorede from Ilori, Alfred from Kaduna. I find it very interesting that we have Northerners here, and, and I really love that. I really like that. All right, so um, SA from Lagos. I have two people raising their hands. Um, Please just put whatever you want to say in the chat box. I will welcome questions later and um, comments and you know what about us later. But for now, please just put what you have to say in the chat box. All right. SA Ogbenin from Lagos. Okay, okay, fantastic. Guys, you're all very welcome. You're all very, very welcome to this webinar. Um, myself and my team have been planning it for quite a while. The devil has tried to um, hinder some of the plans, but <laughs> by God's grace, here we are. Yeah, we are, and what, what God will have done will have will be done. All right, so um, before we go on, I you see me wearing my Jesus shirt. You see me wearing my Jesus shirt, okay? You know, um, right now we're all putting Jesus, Jesus, Jesus out there on social media um, according to what um, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, you know, asked us to do, um, majorly because of what happened at Owo um, on Sunday. Um, we're Christians. Um, at least the majority of us, I believe, are Christians, and it's sad that you can go to church, and um, from there at the ch at church, get shot at. So it's a very it's a very sad thing. Okay, just to acknowledge you, Cyril from Abuja, Zinko Joa from Newi. Newi is a very nice place. I I was in Newi um, earlier this year in January, and I really really had a fun time. I have to go back there because I went for an event, so I didn't. I didn't get to really explore as I wanted to. Okay, so, yeah, so um, with what happened at Owo, you know, um, sad that our brothers, our sisters, our children went to church and um, while at the service, some people just came and opened fire on them and um, some of them lost their lives. So we are chanting the name of Jesus today to... Um, to reiterate the fact that Jesus is still Lord, that Jesus is still number one on our minds. We will never be scared to go to church. We will never stop worshiping Jesus. It doesn't matter what the devil tries. It doesn't matter what um, the Muslims, the um, jihadists, not just Muslims. I mean, Muslims, um, not all Muslims are, are terrible. Muslims are really nice people and I really like them and love them. Um, the only problem is with some of the people who have been brainwashed to think that by killing Christians, they are serving God. So um, I, I know that we are all <laughs> muted in any case, but I want us to just take maybe 30 seconds, 
30 seconds um, to just be silent right here on this call to honor the, um, the lives of those people and um, just pay our respect to them. So just for 30 seconds. All right, um, <laughs> and in the course of the 30 seconds, um, power went out. All right, so but the, the, show, the show must go on. The show must go on. Um, generator is going to come on um, in, a, in a teeny little bit. Okay, yeah. So you're all very welcome to um, the Millionaire Blueprint webinar. Um, I'd introduce myself to, to you all. First, I'm sure that many of us um, are new here and probably are meeting me, you know, in person, you know, um, aside all our messages on Telegram, emails and all that for the first time. So, guys, um, my name is Femi. My name is Femi Adisa. I am the convener of the Biblical Billionaire Club. The convener of the Biblical Billionaire Club, um, serial entrepreneur. I'm a filmmaker in the real estate um, industry, real estate sector. Um, I own an hotel um, and properties. Uh, copywriter, marketer, ghost, um, um, you know, <laughs> I'm a writer. <laughs> okay, so, um, and quite a number of other businesses that I do. I'm a filmmaker too. I made the film King Invincible, which um, was in the cinema um, sometime in 2017, and interestingly, is in um, on Amazon Prime right now. It's on Amazon Prime right now, coming to Netflix um, at some time later. Um, you know, after after it has done some, it's run on Amazon Prime. So that's that's Femi Adisa. I love I love the fact that. Our God, the Most High God Himself, said in Third John chapter two that He wishes above all things that we prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospers. So God wishes above all things that we prosper. So it's a priority to God that you and I prosper. It's a priority to God that you and I drive a Lamborghini. It's a priority to God that you and I drive a Rolls Royce. That we own a private jet. It's one of his priorities. He wishes above all things. The only thing is that it must be as your soul prospers. All right? So when I discovered this, when I discovered how much God really wanted me to prosper, and the fact that it's his will, it's, it's what he wants. It's not something I need to be praying about and begging him for again. It's his will. I plunged seriously into the subject of prosperity. Plunged seriously into it. And um, so... So, I, I mean, I'll share, I'll share some of my story with you. Um, you know, when I started working, got out of NYC, I wanted to work in an oil company. But when, I, when NYC was about to be over, I started praying, Lord, what's the next step? What's the next move? What's the next move? And God told me specifically where I was going to, the area where I was going to. I'm not going to share all that details because this is going on YouTube and you guys are not yet my, in my inner circle, okay? So he told me the specific area that I was going to. So I thought, okay, these are the companies in that area that I know. Let me apply to them and all that stuff. But interestingly, none of my applications went through. Then later on, you know, somehow, some way, I got into the organization that I got into. 
and it was in that particular area. Now, I was asking God for quite a huge sum of money as salary. And then God told me, <laughs> towards the end of my NYC, he told me that, um, sorry, you're not getting that amount. I started working in the place where I was working and I was getting less than 10% of the amount I was asking for. So to be, to be very clear, to be very clear with you guys, when I started working, my salary was 30,000 naira. 30,000 naira. Now, I'm glad that I worked there because that was where God directed me to. And by God's grace, he has lifted me up even in that same space. He has, he has, he has transformed my life. I, I must tell you the honest truth. I am where I am today because of that decision, because I decided to obey him and go into that organization where he asked me to go into. So I have absolutely no regrets and I'm glad. And if I was to start all over again, I would do it the exact same way, all right? To put that straight and clear. God's decisions are always the best for us and it has done. If I would have met my wife, if I did not go in that line, I wouldn't have had the children I have. I wouldn't have, I won't have the life that I have today if I didn't go in that line. I may even have been vaccinated and gone back into the world if I didn't go in that line. So I am just excited that I went in that line. You see, so he told me, so I was getting that amount. I was getting 30K per month. And, you know, I wanted to do big things. And I thought, how am I supposed to survive on this amount and then do all the big things that I want to do on this amount? Then God told me something. He said, I will teach you how to prosper, even with the salary that you earn. I will teach you how to prosper, even with the salary that you earn. From that point, I started with 30K, right? From that point, he started to teach me what to do, how to do step by step, step by step, step by step. And my wealth began to grow. My wealth began to grow. About two years later, things had already changed for me. With 30K salary, so I'm telling you now, you think that the money that you're earning is really small and that's why you are not prospering. That's why you're not doing well. The truth is it's not about how much you earn now. It's about what you do with the money. I know people who were earning at that time, at that time, were earning hundreds of thousands and were unable to move forward with their lives, you know, with the things that they, that they wanted to do. So it's not really about how much you're earning now. It's about where you're going. I'm still introducing myself. We're coming to the webinar proper very, very soon. But right now, I'm introducing the club. So he taught me all these things. And line upon line, step upon step, you know, precept upon precept, I grew out of that state of poverty. And moved. I was never poor, actually. I was never poor <laughs> because my mind was already wealthy. All right. So I moved to, you know, by God's grace, where I am, where I am today. Um, I think it was in 2019 or so, I think it was 2019 or so, that please, you need to check to be sure that everything is fine. So I think it was 2019 or so when I had made some business moves. So by now, you know, I had crossed the 100 million naira mark. And, you know, in fact, there was a time, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd done, I was doing good, worth quite, quite an amount. So I was doing quite good. So um, I wanted, I made some business moves that, I really wanted to use, I, I was hoping it was going to launch me, you know, bigger, really bigger. But it so happened that what I just did was to tie down money. I can't remember what year, was it that 2019 or thereabouts, but you know, not so long ago, before the pandemic. So what, what happened was it tied down money. And I realized that I needed a mentor at that point. I realized that I couldn't just keep going based on the knowledge that God was giving to me at that point. I needed some people who had had firsthand experience to tell me, okay, this and this and this and this is how you should do it. So because of that, I went online and I started to research on businesses, you know, how to do things. And I had run businesses. I mean, I had taken a business from practically just me to, excuse me, to over 60 employees and all that stuff. So... I went online and I said, when I, when I started searching, I realized that many of the things that God taught me about business, about money, about growing wealth, were like established principles that many business people already knew, that many business people knew, you know. And I was like, I learned all these things directly from the Bible. I learned them from God. And then all these things now, I realized that, you know, they're talking about it here and there, here and there. 
I found that very interesting. My wife then also told me that um, some of the things I talk about, that it's not common knowledge. To me, it was common knowledge. She just said, it's not common knowledge. I should start teaching people. So I started, you know, I started teaching people. You know, I was teaching people one-on-one. -on -one. I teach this person, and this person is able to now build his own house. I teach this other person who was, you know, really poor, person able to buy a car, start sending their children to school and all that stuff. So I, I had these pockets of people that I was teaching, these principles, and it was working for them. So at the point, I now said, okay, all right, I think I need to take this thing out and start teaching more people, all right? So I started doing it on um, Facebook, Instagram. I was posting every Monday. That's my wife, that's my, uh, David, you come and say hello. Come, 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 come. Everybody, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll for Mrs. Adisa, for Mrs. A, hey, come, 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 come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's the one who really made me start, you know. <laughs> she's the one who really... Everyone. Yes, good evening, good evening. See how beautiful okay. she is, eh? The yellow purple. All my, all my income is her account. If I, if I get a contract today, it's her account number I drop <laughs> that they pay the money to. All right, so she's the one who really made me start, you know, talking about um, business and, you know, teaching people and all that. Yeah, so... <laughs> thank you thank you thank you okay so um um yeah so i now started posting you know every monday was called money monday it was called money monday on um facebook and instagram i just kept posting and it was really good you know getting a lot of attention people were being blessed by it and then later on it was um last year that um i got the inspiration to gather people together in a club and teach them these principles teach them these things and have our wealth grow I don't like seeing Christians that are broke. In fact, I've always said it, that if I am wearing um, shoes that are already opening their mouth and shout, open its mouth and shouting hallelujah, you know the kind of shoe I'm talking about? <laughs> shoes that are torn, you know? And I see someone in a range spot who the Holy Spirit ministers to me and says, that person is in the world, go and preach to the person. I'm likely to disobey the Holy Spirit. Why? Because I am looking poor. <laughs> He's in a range spot looking rich. If I go and preach to him, he's likely to tell me that his own God is doing him better than my God. He's likely to convert me to become an unbeliever than I convert him. Why? Because, I mean, he has more power than me. He has more economic power than me. He has more influence than me. So um, I do like seeing Christians that are that are the queen behind it all. Yes, too. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for the comments. All right. I, I need to follow YouTube, please. Can somebody go to YouTube? I need to follow YouTube to be um, to see what's happening on YouTube. And we're not streaming on Instagram. My God. Why are we not streaming on Instagram? Okay, let me see what I can do about that right away. All right. So, um, I, so I started to, you know, I started to bring people together in this club called the Biblical Billionaire Club to show them, you know, to, you know, really share these things that um, God has already taught me. Of course, right now, it's no longer in that, so to say, crude state of the things I learned from the Bible and all that stuff. And by God's grace, now I have a man, um, you know, who can advise me. Yeah. Right now, it's no longer in that crude state of what it was before, where, you know, it was just from God directly. Right now, I've advanced also in knowledge. I've gone back to also study many other people, wealthy people, many books and other things. And these are the things that I teach. Okay, so these are the things that I teach um, in the biblical, in the biblical billionaire club. Just a minute, please. I want to just be sure that we are, I just, I want to get us on um, Instagram. I want to get us on Instagram. Um, So just a minute, guys, just a minute, just a minute. Apologies. Okay, so I started to teach these things, um, you know, much more like that in the Biblical Billionaire Club. In the Biblical Billionaire Club. So what um, has been the result of it has been fantastic. When we get to the end of this webinar, I'm going to um, ask, maybe just two people from the premium club who are already who have been part of the Biblical Billionaire Club, the Biblical Billionaire Premium Club, um, precisely, to speak to you, um, to just share with you their experiences um, since they joined 
the clubs. I mean, people have opened their own businesses and, you know, it's, it's actually been exciting. It's, a very, it's been a very good and exciting experience. It's something that I'm glad that I started and um, I'm glad that I'm being, I'm being used of God to, um, you know, to, to bless lives, to bless lives. All right. So now, so that's how the Biblical Billionaire Club um, started. That's how the Biblical Billionaire Club started. Today, we're 3,500 members strong. Um, not everybody's on Telegram. So on the Telegram group, we're 2,000 plus. I can't remember precisely. 2,000 plus strong. And then there's a premium club, which um, where I have more one-on-one -on -one interaction with the members of that club. And that one is about over 60. So I'm going to talk more about the premium club later at the end of this, um, of this webinar. So that some of you who would like to um, upgrade and move on to the premium club can be can be a part of that. All right, so that you can be a part of that. Okay, so all right, we're on Instagram now. We're on Instagram now. Fantastic. Okay, so um, do I have somebody checking? Um, what's it called? YouTube for me. And maybe Instagram also, so that if we have comments from there, we can always address that. So that's how the Biblical Billionaire Club um, started. And now that's where we are, where we are going, which is very exciting. All right? Very exciting. <laughs> I'm excited about this. You know, it all started just as a passion and all that. And the things that God has opened up to my mind is mind-blowing, mind-blowing. All right, so... In October this year, October this year, we're going to be having the Biblical Billionaire Conference. All right, it's going to be a conference of entrepreneurs coming together. At that conference, we're going to pray. We're going to we're going to pray. We're going to fast. We may not be fasting all that much though, because um, a lot of knowledge. So we're going to well, we're going to pray. Now I know that sometimes the um, limitations to wealth are not physical. Sometimes they are spiritual. So we're going to have. Um, ministers, pastors, minister to us and break every yoke, you know, and all that stuff. So we're going to pray. We're going to learn. We're going to have actual billionaires. I mean, billionaires. And I don't want to mention any names because I don't, I don't really have them locked yet. But we're going to have actual billionaires come and speak with us. Already in this club, you know, we, I mean, for those who have been with us, you know, for those who are just joining us, we have had billionaires. We have something we call the billionaire handout. I, I wanted to have it once a month, but I realized that we needed more than just billionaire hangouts so regularly, all right? So we'll be having it here and there, here and there. We've had um, Tony Ko, Pastor Tony Ko, um, join us. Tony Ko is today um, candidate for governorship in River State. So if you're from River State, I'm sure that you know Tony Ko very well. So he's a billionaire, became a billionaire when he was in 30s, and um, now he's in his 50s. But I mean, so he's an established billionaire. He came to us and he taught us. So some of you who were in that class, some of you in that class, please put in the chat box how inspiring, how powerful that session was. All right. So he came and spent over two hours with us, telling us the things that helped him to, to rise up to become a billionaire. The dream, the vision of this club is to raise Christian billionaires. I want to raise people who can establish policies control culture and influence culture, I mean, to um, propagate the gospel of Christ, all right? So um, when he came, he really, really put down and people asked questions. Imagine having a billionaire in front of you and then you can ask him any question that you want. People asked questions and asked questions and I ensured that he, everybody's question was attended to, including my own questions because I also have questions. I'm not yet a billionaire. I'm only a millionaire and I mean, he said that day <laughs> that I should stop saying that I'm not yet a billionaire because it starts from the mind, all right? So I'm already a billionaire by God's grace, all right? So I'm a billionaire by God's grace. So, you know, he, asked, um, he answered all our questions. He spoke to us. It's called the Billionaire Hangout. That's the only billionaire that we've had so far. We're going to have many more billionaires who have already invited, but I'm just, I need to be sure of our education because when billionaires come, they come to motivate you, they come to inspire you and you know, help you through certain points that you are you probably are when you ask a question. Okay, like somebody asked and said she was importing things from abroad to sell, but the dollar rate was giving her issues. 
So what he did was to give her clarity on what to do in that kind of situation. All right. So, wow, that session with Billionaire Cole was mind-blowing, exactly. So I was at that session, yet he says, it was actually impactful, and he was true and honest to the core. I remember him saying, I should go and use my voice to make money. Yes, exactly. He said that to Yeti. And he also prayed for us. He imparted that grace to become a billionaire into our lives. Too. So we usually have those billionaire hangouts. And we also have guests. I mean, this Thursday, for example, we're going to be having a guest come and speak to us. Because this month, will be, or last month, rather, in May, we've been talking about NFTs, um, Web 3.0, cryptocurrency, um, you know, and all that in that space we've been saying a lot about it but so i got um a billionaire in dollars thank you very much Ugona. that's it that's it i like that that's the spirit right so um so somebody an expert in that field his name is Femi Uyemumi, an expert in that field he's been to many conferences around the world concerning this he's updated and he has been making a lot of money in that space he's going to be coming to talk to us on Thursday about you know the nft space and all that stuff so i mean it's not just me who teaches We've also had um, the CEO of Giddy Cakes. Giddy Cakes is um, an organization that, is, that um, their annual revenue is over 100 million naira. Last that I know of, I don't know of now, it's likely to be more, but over 100 million naira, their annual revenue. He has also come to speak with us before. That's the person of um, Obafemi Adini. That's a very good, very good friend of mine. And many other people, all right? So that's where we are now, all right? We have the billionaire hangouts and all that. I remember when we had CEO of Giddy Cakes too. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I hear there's an echo. So can that be fixed? They say there's an echo. I don't know why there's an echo. There shouldn't be. <laughs> there shouldn't be an echo. There shouldn't be an echo. Is anybody else experiencing the echo? The echo is gone now. Okay, fantastic. All right. So, so that's so that's um, where we are now. In October, when we're having the conference, we'll have more billionaires with us. We'll have millionaires also with us. We'll have coaches. We'll be grouped into sections so that somebody can speak to you in a smaller group and really find out what's happening to you. It's going to be a three days conference in October. Um, the three days conference will start on Friday, start on Friday evening up until Sunday morning. And then Sunday morning, we'll just have Thanksgiving service. Pray, thank God for you know, what is about to start in our lives and that we can all launch out. That conference is one that you should not miss. I'll talk more about that conference later on, not now. Right now, I'm just doing introductions. Okay, so... Another thing that God has said we're going to do in the Biblical Billionaire, God has opened my eyes to and shown me, is that we're going to have the Biblical Billionaire College. That's going to be a university. A university where we're going to train people to become billionaires, all right? So today, when you go to school, you get um, general knowledge. In the Biblical Billionaire co um, College, you will get more in-depth knowledge, and it's going to be certificates. So you, you get your MBA, you get your marketing, um, what's it called? marketing degree, you know, and all that stuff. It's going to be a really, really huge one. And we're going to raise billionaires even from that. So we're going to have the Babika Billionaire College where we're going to talk about real life things, real life things. And because I'm also an, um, um, a practitioner in the entertainment space, in the entertainment sector, you can be sure that there will be some um, good, uh, what's it called, blend into the entertainment industry also in the Babika Billionaire Already, I'm already writing... Um, the, what's it called, the curriculums and, you know, the faculties that will be in the Biblical Billionaire College. That's also coming up very soon by God's grace. Definitely not this year, but sometime um, very soon. And, you know, many, many more, many more things, many more things. Now, let's, that's, that's the Biblical Billionaire Club. That's where we are and where we are going. And by God's grace, even a lot more. There, there are some things that I'm, my eyes have been opened to also that I'm not allowed to share yet that we will be doing in the Biblical Billionaire Club, that the Biblical Billionaire Club will become, all right? So, but I'm not allowed to share, share those ones yet. Those are the ones I'm, about, I'm allowed to share with you. And I think it's exciting. Who is excited about where we are going in the Biblical Billionaire Club? What the Biblical Billionaire Club is, what we stand for, and where we're going. Who is excited about that? If you're excited about it, please just put, you know, an exciting emoji, you know, maybe fireworks or something in the chat box, all right? Guys, I need to feel your energy. I need to feel your energy. Thank you. I see you dancing. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yeah, I need to feel your energy, guys. I need to feel your energy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Dr. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. Yes, fire. Nasu, 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 Nasu. Yeah, the sparks. <laughs> the sparks. Fantastic. Fantastic. So it's exciting where we're going, and I'm glad that you're a part of it. Yeah, I see the fire. I see the sparks. 
I'm glad that you're a part of it already, and I would like you to please be with us on this journey all through. I'm telling you, there's a lot, there's a lot um, to be unpacked in the Biblical Billionaire Club, and every one of us is going to be a part of it by God's grace, in Jesus' name. Yeah, so let's go into the webinar for today. Let's learn, let's learn, let's learn. So that's by way of introduction. If you have any question, please put in the chat box, because I want you to be clear on what the Biblical Billionaire Club stands for, what we're doing, and all that. So if you have any question concerning the Biblical Billionaire Club, please feel free to put in the chat box, and I'm going to, I'm going to um, respond to that. Um, if your hand is raised, I apologize, so that we don't take so much time. We need to go into the lecture now, so that we don't take so much time. Um, I will give you that opportunity to speak, you know, towards the end of the, of the what's it called, of the webinar. Yeah. Oh, right. All right. Okay. Um, uh, this is not the book where my notes is. The Millionaire Blueprints. The Millionaire Blueprints. So today I want to show you really the pathway that I passed through to become a millionaire. The pathway that you should pass through, that you are likely to pass through to become a millionaire. So some people become millionaires because they inherited money. All right. Some people become Excuse me. Francis is asking what is happening here. <laughs> My brother, how did you get the link? How did you come in here? All right. So this is a webinar called The Millionaire Blueprint by the Biblical Billionaire Club. Um, um, so just stay tuned and, and, and enjoy yourself. All right. So no, this is not only for Christians. Thank you very much. This is not only for Christians. I remember that um, Abdullahi, I think his name is Abdullahi, put on the Telegram group asking. So this is Clearly, not only for Christians. Like I said earlier on, I love the Muslims too, and they are, um, they are good. I have friends who are Muslims also. Of course, I want them to become Christians also. But then the Biblical Billionaire Club is open to everybody. If you are comfortable, because many of the lessons that I learned about business, I learned from God and I learned through the Bible. All right. So if you're comfortable with learning these same lessons, they are practical lessons. Like I said, I learned them from the Bible. I realized when I went to do my more search on um, billionaires and people who are doing things that some of these people learned them by experience in life and then they were real life stuff, even though I learned from the Bible. I remember one of our classes when I was talking about um, marketing and writing of your marketing script, your marketing copyright. I took all the, that entire lecture. Sometimes I even try not to lecture from the Bible so that it doesn't seem like I'm preaching, all right? So, but that day, everybody said, no, take it from the Bible. Because I just, I said, there's more, but I don't want to take from the Bible. Everybody said, no, 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 take it from the Bible. So I took everything from the Bible. So I was lecture on writing your sales copy, all right? So, but some of these, these things, I learned it from the Bible, Matthew 13 precisely. But when I got out there, I saw that people were doing it, not, they, they, they didn't learn it from the Bible. They learned it from, you know, people doing research and all that stuff and all that. And I went through all that process. Mine was just easy, simple. God just showed me, this is how you write your sales copy. And I learned it and that's it. So if you don't mind learning passages and using them to explain business principles that are actually for unbelievers, if you don't mind hearing those bio passages, you are very welcome. You're very, in fact, I want many Muslims also here because I don't want Muslims to go to places where they get brainwashed to think that killing Christians means serving God. So I want as many Muslims as possible here. All right. So if you don't mind, you're very, very, very welcome. Very, very welcome. So Zimko, Joel, you're very welcome. It's not only for Christians. And please invite all your Muslim brethren. Please invite them. I had trouble. Matthew says I had trouble joining. Please, I will appreciate a written synopsis of the club of what the club is about, maybe via email. All right, so there's a club profile on the Telegram group. If you have Telegram on your phone, when you registered, then there's a Telegram group that has, the Telegram group has a club profile pinned to the top of the club. That, that profile has not been updated with some of the things I shared with you now, which is our vision and all that stuff, which were, you know, revealed to me recently. But at least that will give you basic knowledge about the club. But when, what I can do again is to update that profile and send it to everybody via email so that those who are not on the Telegram group can also, can also have access to the information. Thank you very much for that. Please remind me to do that. 
update that profile. All right, so um, Dr. Kady says, please, will the recorded seminar be made available after the lecture? Um, maybe, maybe, all right? So I can see that we're, we're 75 at some point and you know, quite a number of people here. And um, we have over 3,000 people. So I, I, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to um, put out the recording so that, so that more people can be a part of it. All right. So that more people can be. We're going to, okay. After the lecture, that's Dr. KJ. Yes. Yeah, so I think we're going to do that. Can the recording be made available for those who low battery affected? Okay. Yes. Yes. We'll make the recording available. It's be good to take the questions after the class so we can move along, please. Yes. Exactly. Thank you very much. So I'm going to take the questions. Um, what about other questions you have after the class? All right, so let's go straight into straight into the class. Exactly, let's fire on. All right, so the millionaire blueprint. Um, first and foremost, many people believe that to become a millionaire, you need um, you 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 can become a millionaire through a job. Um, Yes, a number of people become millionaires at their job, but not through their jobs. I'm not discouraging you. I'm not asking you to go and resign tomorrow. No way. <laughs> but I'm telling you, the first thing that you need to do if you want to become a millionaire is because we've spent quite some time, 45 minutes already talking, so I'm just going straight. I'm not doing the introduction that I had planned before. So the first thing that you need to do if you want to become a millionaire is to be selling something. Be selling something. Proverbs 11, verse 26. Proverbs 11, verse 26. Um, says that you are blessed when you sell corn, you know, something that people need. But those who don't sell, can, can, can someone open that scripture to me, for me, please? Proverbs chapter 11, verse 26. Proverbs 11, verse 26. All right. So, you know, like I said, many of the lessons that we're learning are from scriptures. All right. So Proverbs 11, 26 says, he that withholdeth corn, the people shall curse. All right. But blessing shall be upon the head of him that sells it. Okay. So if you are withholding corn, then you could be cursed. If you have something that is tangible, something that is useful to your generation, to your world, and you are withholding it, and you're not selling it, what it says is that the people will curse you. So if you want to become a millionaire, and you don't want curses, you want blessings, all right? To become a millionaire, the first thing that you must look at is what can I sell? You must be selling something. It could be a knowledge that you have that you've gained over time. It could be a product that you understand. You know how to produce or how to use, how to re re innovate on. But first, what can I sell? So I want you to ask yourself, and every member of the Biblical Billionaire Club has a book that is written, the Biblical Billionaire Club. You need that book, all right? So I want you to ask yourself, what can I sell? And because this is going to be very practical, please write there what you will be selling or what you sell. Write there what you sell on your book. You can also write in the chat box, but I'm not going to focus on that because of time. All right. So write what you will be selling. What can I sell? And write what you sell. So you sell whatever it is. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what you sell. Somebody, somebody sells Gary and makes a lot of money from it. I mean, somebody, um, I know someone who, who sells um, peanuts, peanuts, and owns private jets from selling peanuts, okay? So the question is, what can I sell? What do I sell? You have to be selling something. Your blessing is tied to selling something, all right? Your blessing is tied to selling something. It means that you must be an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone who takes other people's problems as his personal responsibility. You see someone else's problem and you take it as your personal responsibility to solve that person's problem. That's an entrepreneur. All right? So if you 
if you begin to see, if you want to become an entrepreneur and you want to become a, okay, so um, properties, thank you. So if you want to become an entrepreneur, you want to really, really start um, be on your path to becoming a millionaire or really be a millionaire, then what your mind must be, work, the way your mind must be working is when I see someone who has a problem, I must take it upon myself to solve that problem. If you are going to be a millionaire, please note this. If you are going to be a millionaire, you will not be chasing after money, you will be chasing after problems. You'll be trying to solve as many people's problems as you can, not trying to get as many people's monies as you can. It starts with you just trying to ensure that you solve their problems, taking it as your responsibility to solve their problems. Please, no member of this club should be running after Naira and Kobo. You are bigger than that. Run after purpose. Run after trying to solve people's problems. All right? You start transformation through coaching and strategy. Do we have people who are not muted yet? Okay. I muted everybody. Let me just fix that, please, so that nobody's disturbing anybody. Okay, so you will need to help me unmute, unmute me, because I'm going to mute everybody now. Uh, all right, so, okay, I may not be able to do that. Is everybody muted now? Please mute your microphone, all right? Please mute your microphone so that you're not disturbing others. Thank you. I think everybody's muted now. All right, fantastic. Okay. Hmm. So I have to mute everybody. All right, so please unmute me now. I'm not unmuted yet. Okay, fantastic, great. All right, so I don't think we're going to have that problem anymore. Okay, so, so everybody is muted now. Please confirm that to me. Everybody is muted now. Good. All right, so you, you should be after purpose, after solving people's problems. So that's major, that's major, that's major, all right? Be after solving people's problems, not after their money. So look for the people that have problems in your neighborhood, in your compound, in your estates, in your um, local government, and solve their problems. That's where your money really is. All right? So solve their problems. That's where your blessings really are. Number two, I'm going to come to how to get more and more people to solve their problems. I'm going to come back to, but this is the basic blueprint. Three things. Number one, sell something. Number two, save some of the money that you make from the sales that you, that, that you make. Save. I'll just say all three. You make money, save money, multiply the money. Make money, save money, multiply the money. That's, that's the simple breakdown of the entire thing. Make money, save money, multiply the money. All right? So you save. Proverbs 11 verse 24. Proverbs 11 verse 24. It says that there is an amount that... If you, that, he said, he that withholded more than is necessary. In other words, there's an amount that you must withhold that is necessary. All right? There's an amount that you must withhold. There's an amount that is necessary for you to withhold. If you don't save money, you are not safe. If you don't save money, I said what? You are not safe. I told you guys that when I started working, I was earning 30000 naira per month. I was saving, one of the things that God taught me, was to save 25,000 naira every month. In other words, I had only 5,000 naira to live on and I was still paying tight. <laughs> so I had, I had only um, 2,000 naira to live on. It was not just 2,000 naira because there were other things that I would do to you know, make money here and there. But I was saving 25,000 naira every month, nonstop. 
for the first two years. 25,000 non-stop. I would save to get to a point and then God will say, now put it into this, invest in this, invest in that, invest in this. All right, so save, save, save. Very important. In the book of Genesis 41, Genesis 41, um, God showed, God showed, um, what's his name? Joseph, the interpretation to Pharaoh's dream. And jo Joseph said this, he said, out of the monies that will be made or the things that will be made in the period of, um, of plenty, he said, let's take out 20% and keep that 20%. And in the seven years of farming, that 20% will be enough to help us to survive. Now, I want to ask you a question. They had 100% in the years of plenty. They took out 20%, and 80% was what they were living on. Now, how come 20%, only 20%, happened to be enough for them in the next seven years of famine? And not only for them, remember, people from other countries were coming to meet them, to get money from them, or to get food from them, to buy food from them. How come? Is this simple principle. In fact, I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you um, practically right now. All right? I didn't plan on doing this, but I think it's best that I do this so that you understand. So we have um, some dollar notes here. And um, I think I'll be needing more than this. Um, I think I'll be needing more than this. My wife isn't here now so that she can help me get... All right, so let's just use this, okay? Um, take this out of the way. Guys, follow me on this, please, all right? Let me take this out of the way. Follow me on this. You can see this table, right? It's clear, clear. During the period of famine, he said, let's keep 20%. That's one-fifth, okay? So if they made one, two, three, four, five hundred dollars, they made five hundred dollars in year one. One, two, three, four, five in year two. One, two, three, four, five in year three. One, two, three, four, five in year four. All right. One, two, three, four, five in year five. One, two, three, four, five in year six. One, two, three, four, five in year seven. All right? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the seven years of famine. Now, he said, we are to take out one-fifth, one-fifth. Is this clear for everyone? I mean, you can see the screen clearly. One-fifth, that means out of five, we are taking out one every year. So in year one, they took out the first one and put it here. What um, Joseph did was not just to take it out and put it. You see, because if you take out corn and you put it in a storehouse, after seven years, it put there. it's impossible because rodents will get into the place. Some of the corn will get bad and all that. Joseph did this principle I'm teaching you now which God taught me directly, all right? Just like the distribution of make money, save money, multiply the money. So we have made this money now. In year one, we made $500. We're taking out 100 out of that $500 to save. Then he planted it in the period of plenty. That's what he did. He planted it in that period of plenty. So after, when you plant one, of course, when you plant one, if you know corn, and millet and all those things. When you plant one, you get multiples. But let's just assume that when you plant one, you get two, just for the sake of simplicity. You plant one, you get two. So in year one, he put this aside. He planted this, and then he got... You can't hear me. Can everybody hear me? Can you help me monitor that, please? You can hear me clearly. All right, so there's probably something wrong, um, Dr. KG. There's probably something wrong um, on your end. I think everybody else can hear me. All right? Can somebody else please confirm to me that they can hear me before I move on? You are loud and clear. Fantastic. All right. So, um, so he planted one, and then, you know, got 
profit from that one that he planted. Um, I want to be sure that you can see this. Got profit from that one that he planted here. Yeah. All right, so now he had $200. In year two, he took out another 20% and planted it. Now he has 300 in year two, so he will now get another 300. Remember, we're just saying it's doubles. It's more than double, but just double. So one, two, three. We come to year three. He takes out another 20% and puts it there. This is seven now, right? So we will now add seven to this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He now has 14. In year four, he takes another 20% and adds to it mix this 15, and then we take out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now he has 30. The next year, are we taking from this? One, two, three, four, yes. The next year now, it takes out under one, that's, 50% and um, 20% rather. And then now he has 31 here. Am I correct? Are you following me? Misty, am I correct? 31, right? So he's taking 31 from here. One, you know, when we're counting Naira, we count Naira like this. <laughs> but with the um, dollars is different. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, we need more. We're trying to get to 31, right? So I'm going, I'm going to borrow from here. If my wife was here, she could help me get more, more money. So I'm going to borrow from here. So that's 20, right? So um, 20 and um, 11 more. So this is four. One, two, three, four. And um, eight, one, two, eight. Then we can just add three to that. Nine, 10, 11. And then we have 62 here. We have 62 here, all right? So let me just move these guys here so that you can see it clearly and see what I'm doing. So we have 62. Have I taken from here? Two, three, four, yes. So that means we're on year six. In year six, be sure, one, two, three, four, five. So we have not taken from here. We have 63 now, all right? So I don't have enough. I don't have enough cash for this. So we have 63 here now. 63 times two is what? 126. And 126 that is carried on to year seven. Now in year seven, he adds this one to it. That's 126, now 127. Remember that he can't plant anymore because we are now we are now in the period of farming. So let's assume he doesn't plant anymore. This is 126. It's not it's not as big yeah, because because um, we don't have enough cash. But then just get it. This is 126. Everything that was gotten that was spent or gotten in the year of plenty was um, four four times seven years two hundred and two thousand. 28. So let's just remove these two zeros, you know, for simplicity of calculation. This is 28 and this is 126. So you see that in the years of famine, they actually had more money than they had in the years of plenty. See, I need this thing to be very clear to you because this is the particular principle that made me become a, a millionaire. All right? This is the principle that God used to make me become a millionaire. And I have a YouTube video that elaborates on this. I'm rushing now because it's just a live class. I have a YouTube that elaborates on this. So you can go to my YouTube channel, Femi Adisa, and watch that video. The title of that video is This, this Biblical Story or This Bible Story Made Me a Millionaire. Eventually, what they called period of plenty was actually what they had in that period was very small compared to what they had in the period of famine. Why? Simple principle. Save, invest, repeat. Save, invest, repeat. Simple principle. Who gets that principle? If you get that principle, okay, somebody is saying, wow, fantastic. That means you get the principle. That means you get the principle. Somebody is putting hands up. Thank you. Fantastic. So you get the principle, all right? Save, 
So you make money. So you see, the way God works, eh? the way God works is he will not give you your, and I will tell you, how, how did I make my first one million naira? I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember. Why? Because I, already, I was already a millionaire before I made one million naira cash at once. I was already a millionaire before I made one million naira cash. I was already in my tens of millions. I think, I think I was already in my tens of millions, if not even already above that. But in my tens of millions, before I made my first 10 million naira cash on one deal. The way God works, the way God does his things is that he will give you thousands. And inside those thousands are the millions that you need. He will give you millions. And inside those millions are the billions that you need. If you spend it all, you're on your own. So what he expects that you do is that you save at least 20% of your income. My brother, my sister, the salary you collected last month, May, did you save 20% of that money? <laughs> Some of you are looking at me with guilty conscience. Your heart is beating with guilty conscience because the salary has probably almost finished. <laughs> you need to save money. And then reinvest the money. Now, many stupid, I don't want to call them stupid. Many people do something stupid. By saving money, they will do Ajo. And Ajo is fantastic, cooperative. I mean, it's through Ajo, cooperative, if you don't know what Ajo means. Because we have some, you know, um, in, it, in it people here, <laughs> right? So you may not know what Ajo means. So Ajo is cooperative, cooperative society. If you do Ajo, and then when you pack your money, you go and use it to, buy a shwebi or you use it to throw a party that's a very stupid thing to do when you save money you must invest it for those of you who are in biz admin who do who did economics in school remember that savings they told us savings is equal to investments anything that you save and don't invest that was that was just a stupid move all right and i've done it before i, I mean some of these things i'm telling you are things that god taught me i remember doing a job one time one time you know early days and I, my, what I packed, you know, they call it, you pack it, co, you know, when you code, you will. <laughs> so what I packed was 400,000 naira. And up till today, sometimes I slap myself when I remember that money because that money did not do anything to my life. Did not do anything. I didn't invest that money. I don't even know how I spent it. I just started putting it into this one, this one, that one. And then before I knew it, the money was finished. So up till today, many times I slap myself. Why? Because God gave me that money and I never used it to do anything, anything um, genuine. And of course, how did I know that I had done something stupid? God, God asked me a question. That money that you co, <laughs> that money that you co, that you took, you know, that you collected after the cooperative cycle was over, what impact has it had on your life? It, it, that thing hit my head. And up to today, when I recollect, 400,000 naira by God's grace now have, has come and, you know, you know, but when I see it collect that I misuse that money, I slap myself sometimes. Every money that comes to you, inside of it is your million dollars. You don't eat it all up. You don't eat it all up. The Bible says in Proverbs 21 verse 20, Proverbs 21 verse 20, it says that um, wine and oil is to be found in the house of the wise, but the foolish man spends it all up. So, in other words, if you spend all the money that you earn, you are a foolish man. Sorry, it's not me that said it is the Bible. Cooperative is different from Ajo. Okay, sorry. So, what is Ajo? How do we explain Ajo? Ajo is like a cooperative. Now, you guys come together, you cooperate to do something. But, you know, I know, I know some of you are cooperating when you come together to, you know, um, start a business, you know, buy things in bulk and all that stuff. You know, that's a different one. So, but Ajo is also like a You guys know Ajo now, you know Ajo. Anyway, so do, let, let's not try to explain it more. You know Ajo. All right, so the Bible says that if you spend all the money that you earn, you are foolish. Some of us have been foolish before, but today I banish foolishness in your life in Jesus' name. Say amen. You are not to spend all the money that you earn. It doesn't matter how small it is. You are to save part of it. I told you I started with 30K per month in 2010. 30K per month. And I saved 25K every month. It takes 
crazy discipline. I'm telling you, it's not easy. But because you don't want to remain in the spot that you are, because you know that you want to move on, because I knew I wanted to become very wealthy. I, I, I went to school. I went to a very good school, came out with a second-class upper. I knew I could attract bigger funds, but God was asking me to do something that was, you know, not conventional. So what I now needed to do also was something that is not conventional in order to balance the equation and become wealthy. Okay? So it doesn't matter how small your income is now. You must still save. Bishop Oedek posted something. He said when their income was 20 naira or 200 naira, they were still saving. And the principle is save at least 20%. Of course, I saved more than 20% because I wanted to get rich faster. <laughs> faster. But if you save at least 20% of the money that you earn now, every month, and that will translate to every year, save it and reinvest it at the end of every year. I'm telling you, in seven years, your life will change. You see, I just laid out to you what happened in Genesis 41. In seven years, your life will change. You will hit millionaire status. It is sure. It doesn't matter how small that money is. It doesn't matter how small. So you can reinvest it even in buying pure water and reselling pure water. Buying Coke and Fanta and reselling. Buying Gala and reselling Gala. No, it doesn't matter how small it is. As long as you are reselling it, start a poultry or start selling eggs. Whatever it is, as far as you are sure that what you have is corn. Remember Proverbs 11.26, that he that withholds corn. You know, so it has to be corn. Corn is a product that everybody needs, everybody eats, okay? Something that you're sure is in demand, not something that you're not sure is in demand, all right? Yes, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to put out the recorded version of this. I'm going to, I'm going to send it to us also later, all right? So something that you're sure is in demand, all right? So as long as you're doing that, you are sure to become a millionaire. In at most seven years, by saving only 20%. But I advise you, save more than 20%. So this is one of the things that we're also, we're, we're just building that structure now in the Bible Billionaire Premium Club. So the Premium Club, like I said again, is the inner circle, the more interested, more serious, more um, in-tuned one that really wants this, all right? They're, in the, they're the ones in the Premium Club. So and I, I would tell you how you can join the Premium Club at the end of this um, class. So in the Premium Club, we're already organizing that how everybody can be saving money. We're not saving our money in Naira. Um, um, sorry, CBN, but we don't trust the Naira right now. We're not saving our money in Naira. We're coming together to save our money to ensure that we are moving on. Because sometimes it's difficult to actually save money by yourself. So you need things like that at job, but we are not doing a job because we can't chase anybody for money. You save your money, it's recorded, and then when it's time for you to invest, we look at the investment and we say, okay, this is fine, this is good, take the money, all right? We're not, we're not in any way encouraging. And honestly, I, I, I fight against this with all my strength. We're not in any way encouraging. Save money. Then when it's December, you pack the money and go and use it to do dirty December. That's dirty your economic life. Go and just say, you got to do dirty December. And yeah, you go to the village and you're doing big boy, big boy. And when you get back home, you're going to go and drink, guys. No way. All right? Save, invest, and then repeat. All right? So now, the main question, one very major question to ask is, if I'm selling something, how do I ensure that what I'm selling keeps moving? What, how do I ensure it keeps moving? I have only 15 minutes or, or so, because I need to talk about the premium club. I have only 15 minutes or so to explain this. How do I ensure that what I'm selling keeps moving? So sales is established, but then <laughs> if I sell phones, for example, I want to sell 10 per day. I don't just want to establish and say I'm selling phone, I'm selling shoes, I'm selling clothes, and then my stock is just in the store. No. No member of the Billionaire Club. There was one person I were having a one-on-one -on -one class one time, and then she said her things were in the store and she had not sold it. I say, hey, and you're a member of this club and you have not sold? It's not possible. No member of this club is allowed to keep something in their store for a whole month. No. It must go. You must Always empty your warehouse every month. And I'll teach you all the skills. Of course, I can't teach you everything today in this class. It's very short because there's a whole lot more. But you can join the premium club and then we can always have that more in-depth discussion. All right. So if you want to sell and sell regularly, very well. First, remember I said, don't be after money. Be after solving people's problems. But what you need to do is to get many more people 
that you can solve their problems. And that's where you can come into creating of funnels. You create a funnel. So it's called sales funnel to help you sell. A funnel, I wish I had a board. Where's that? Ah, that board has many. Can, okay, is there a marker? Can you get a marker around? I can use it. So, some people have used permanent marker on the board and I'm not sure. So, um, okay, you know what? Let's go on, let's go on, let's go on. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. All right? So this is what the funnel looks like. I'll try to show it to you here. So you know how a funnel is now? I mean, everybody knows a funnel. I'm sure everybody knows a funnel. I don't even have to do this. Everybody knows a funnel. You know how a funnel is? You want to pour oil from one jerry can to another jerry can. You know, funnel, you want to pour oil, whatever it is. You know how a funnel is. So a funnel says, fire down. Okay, I don't understand what fire down means. <laughs> so a funnel, a sales funnel is you pour something into the funnel and then when it comes out, it comes out as cash to you. It comes out as sales to you, all right? So you pour something into the funnel, but that thing will have to pass through a process. And crystal clear, thank you. So it has to pass through a pure process. Now, if you want to sell and be selling fast, you want your, your product to be hot cake. People are rushing you, rushing you like crazy. Yeah, you need to establish a funnel. A funnel is something that people will come into it, go through a process, and in that process, they buy from you. All right? So we've treated this funnel, and I've been treated again in the Premium Club. We've treated it before. There are seven different funnels that you can establish. Seven different funnels. I'll talk about just one. I, I may not even go so much in-depth into it. All right? So, but I'll talk about it clearly. Let me ask you a question. If you're a woman here, the woman, I will need you to answer this in the chat box. The first time that your husband met you, if you're married now, the first time, or even you, you, you are dating someone, or you know you have a fiance, the first time your husband met you, was that the time that he asked you out or asked for your hand in marriage? And if he actually asked for your hand the first time he met you, will you have said yes, or did you say yes? I'm sure you did not say yes. No, thank you. No, sir, thank you. There's one mistake that many people make when they want to sell. You approach somebody, single Pringle. <laughs> Don't worry now, you go so married. So you approach somebody that you want to um, marry the person or date the person. And then the first thing you say is, I like you, I like to marry you. No way. No girl is going to say yes to that. No girl is going to say yes. What you do is that, and you know, I did this for my wife, so you know, I have experience. I did, my wife wanted to learn how to drive, so I just said, I can teach you how to drive. And she said, Oh, no problem. I, I mean, that's fine. That's nice of you. So what I just did was, I was taking her out to drive every evening, and then by doing that, she was getting to know me, getting to know me. Before she knew it, she don't fall in love, you know, because. If you spend time with a monkey, the monkey will begin to find you get. So that was what, that was the principle. This same principle I'm teaching you now. Even though I use it in business, I also use it to hammer that fine babe that you guys saw earlier. All right. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm sharp. So when you, want to, when you want to date someone or marry someone, you will first say, ah, let's go on a date. First date. You go on the date. You guys see each other, you know, and all that stuff. You get close, you just make her know you, you know, let her be seeing you regularly before one day you'd have become friends. Then one day you now say, ah, and I like you. Can we go into a relationship? Then she will now say yes. All right. Now, better, better update with this. Use it, use it as a Christian brother. Don't use it, <laughs> don't use it for, you know, for what's it called? Shenanigans. Okay. Used as a Christian, we are not Yoruba demons, we are Yoruba angels. Amen? So, you know, it's the same way with sales. When you just approach someone and say, come and buy my product, it is 5,000 naira, they won't buy it. That's probably why you're not making sales. They won't buy it. Because at that time, they are cold audience. They don't know you. They can't trust you. All right? I can only buy your product if I trust that that product is good, is good quality. Nobody hires a photographer that they've not seen the pictures they've done before. 
that they don't know, that they don't know the person's product. You need to move people from cold audience to warm audience. Let them know you, let them trust you. Then it becomes easy for them to buy from you. All right? You can't sell to somebody by approaching them for the first time and saying, come and buy, and then they don't buy. And say, I'm not selling, no. I'm not selling, no. It's like the people from my village are just stopping me. They are following me all over. They followed me to Lagos. No, it's not your village people. It's knowledge. It's simple, clear knowledge. Nobody is going to enter into that um, transaction with you if they have not first known you and trusted you. So you need to move them from cold audience to warm audience, all right? So what you need to do to warm them up, remember when you're about to date a babe, you buy her food free of charge. You take her to the cinema free of charge. When you see that, maybe you're in school, for example, when you see that they said everybody should buy a handout, you go and buy her own and say, oh, I bought two. I didn't even know that you would not have, oh, you pretend. I bought two. I just happened to buy two. Take this is yours. What you're doing is you are warming the person up to yourself. So what you should do is to give the game something free of charge. All right? Gather people together with your lead. So we call it lead magnets. Those who have been in the club before, you know what this means. We call it lead magnet. There are a few people, like three or five people that have sent here who have been in the club before. So we call it lead magnet. It's a magnet. You are using to magnet them in, to draw them in. Just like you use that free handout to draw that bib in. Just like you use that um, cinema ticket to draw that bib in. That theater, oh, there's a play going on at Terra Culture. And this is that would you like to go and see it? You're using that to draw her in, to magnet her. It's the same way that you also use a free gift to magnet people in. All right? So you give them something that is free. And then by the time they now come closer, they taste. The Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. It's a principle that God himself uses. All right? You remember the guy at the pool of Bethesda? Luke chapter 5. The guy at the pool of Bethesda. Jesus Christ went to meet him and said, would you like to be healed? He said, nobody's going to push me into the river. And it was a for, you know, too much a too much, too much talking. And then Jesus Christ said, okay, be healed. Stand up and go home. You are healed. Then later on, Jesus Christ saw him in the temple and then he told him something. He said, don't sin anymore because if you sin again, a worse illness will come upon you. So that means primarily what Jesus wanted to give him was salvation. What Jesus really wanted to do was to preach salvation to him, to tell him that stop sinning, start living holy. Give your life to Christ and live holy. But what he first did was to give him a miracle, free of charge. Free of charge. He gave him that, even though it is sin that brings the um, miracle, but then you are still sinning. However, I will still give you the miracle free. Then you can now not sin again. All right? So give them something free to attract them. When you have attracted them in with that free stuff, and now they have warmed themselves up to you, you can now sell something to them because now they trust you. Now they believe that you can really solve their problem. That problem that you took as your personal responsibility to solve, they now see that, oh, you are responsible enough to solve that problem because you first gave them something free of charge. All right, so um, like I said, I won't be able to go into all the details because we're also going to ask questions. I won't be able to go into all the details of um, what's it called, of creation of funnels. But at least that beginning place, how the people come in, that lead magnet, you need to understand that now, all right? Give them something free, then they come in and then you can now sell to them. The best, the, the best marketing word ever that has always worked and will forever work is free. And of course, you know, especially Nigerians, ah, Nigerians like a wolf. <laughs> but a wolf, they run belly. However, your own a wolf is not going to run belly. It's something that is valuable. Something valuable, but it's free. You attract them with that, and then you can now sell your own product to them. All right? So I, I even have a video on my YouTube channel also. Guys, you all you need to go to my YouTube channel, please, and subscribe to that channel. Because um, I keep sharing these videos that will really help you. I have a video on that channel that talks about pricing strategies. Pricing strategies. All right? So, I mean, Facebook is what? Free to join. Free. You open a Facebook account, you like, you comment, everything. Free. What Facebook really is, is a lead magnet, magneting you to itself. All right? So you can magnet them through a free community, a free book, a free course, a free webinar like this one. 
um, a free portion of your product. So this thing is, I, um, uh, one of the people that God used to also teach me is, yeah, so I, I just answered that question now, is the suya man on your street. If you notice, if you would, if you, um, well, I don't know if you will be able to get this information, but if you can, on every street in Lagos, or almost every street in Lagos, I'm telling you, the most likely richest man on that street is the person that sells suya at the end of the street. Most likely. Those guys are very wealthy. If, if any of those Awusa guys open their accounts up to you, Awusas are the richest people in this country. And of course, one of them is the richest person in Africa. <laughs> They're the richest people in this country because they understand this thing very well. They don't spend like crazy like us. But let's not go into those tribes. All right, so what the Suya man does when you get to the front of the Suya place is he takes a bit of that meat, puts it in the pepper, and gives it to you free. Whether you buy it or not does not matter. He gives you a taste free. But what happens most of the time, you buy. Some people will not buy, but then most of us buy. And sometimes we even buy because we have already eaten it free. When you give somebody something free, they already feel like they owe you. So naturally, they feel like, okay, I can buy something from you, especially if it is sweet. So you have eaten the suya man suya, and you see that it is sweet. Now you can trust him to buy suya from him. It's called the suya man. I call it the suya man principle. So because I generated it by myself, or, you know, the Holy Spirit helped me. I can't take credit for it. The Holy Spirit helped me to generate it. So I named it the suya man principle. Powerful principle works all the time. All right? So fantastic. Anybody has a question for me? Anybody has a question for me? Fire. Um, tell you about how you can join the premium club. If you have a question for me, just put it in the chat box, all right? Thank you. Just write, write your question in the chat box and I'm going to answer it. I wish I could, um, should we do that? Should we ask people um, to ask their questions? They should um, unmute, right? And ask, ask their questions. Okay. Um, so Adam Molekun um, has a question. I will ask you to unmute now. So if you have a question, just raise your hand. Please help me check YouTube, check Instagram, check my Instagram too. If anybody has a question for me, can Suyaman approach work? Yes, your Suyaman, Suyaman approach can work, even if you sell footwears. But I can't go deep into that now. Um, I, can, I can go deeper into it in the premium club. All right, so still muted now for now. All right, so... Um, Adam Oleko has answered the question. You sell full twist. Principle will work. Let me, let, me just, let me just answer that since we don't have any more questions for now. What's the suya for a service-based business like insurance sales? Thank you. All right. Let me just answer Adam Oleko first. So you sell full twist. What, is, what are the problems of people that um, wear shoes? I don't know if it's female footwear or male footwear. What are the problems of people that wear shoes? Hey, this thing is going fast. I need somebody to help me please um, keep track of the question so that I don't miss any question. What are, what are the problems of some people that wear? Some people have problems with their sizes, all right? Some people have problems um, um, getting their size of shoes or understanding how their shoes work. You can simply do a webinar telling people about the best shoes, how to understand the size of your shoes. I'm not in that industry, so I don't have all the data. I'm not so much of a fashion person too. How to understand your best, your shoes and how to use your shoes. You can do, um, you can also teach people how to match shoes with their clothes, the kind of shoes that match with their clothes and all that stuff. You can also give people things like shoe pads, things like shoe pads, things like, um, what's that thing called? That's long one that you used to wear your shoes. You can give people things like that too. So those are things that you can give people to people free of charge. All right, you can give them something a cloth to clean their shoes. It's free, absolutely free. I'll give you that to clean your shoes. Okay, so but how you can now do that is a lot more. Is a lot more. You know how to gather the people together, give them this free stuff, and ensure that they remain together is a lot more because there's something called web. Well, um, what's it called? Landing pages, collecting of data, and all that stuff. And let me say this here right now, guys. If you are selling to people and you don't have the information of your customers, you are wrong. You are wrong. You don't sell to somebody and then don't collect at least their phone number. Because one of the biggest mistakes that we do, that many business people do, is 
to sell to somebody, they close sales. I don't close sales. I open sales relationships, all right? So I, I don't like the term closing, closing. I know that people use it for when you sell something, closing. I don't like the term because I want to open a sales relationship with you. I don't want to buy from me once and never buy from me again. I want to buy from me once and buy from me tomorrow. And if I have a new product tomorrow again, you buy that product and all that. I want to open a sales relationship with you, all right? So um, when, you, when you sell to somebody, make sure you have their phone number, their email address, a way to communicate with them and regularly send them messages to warm that relationship up even more, all right? Um, what's the suya for a service-based business like insurance sales? So you can give a lot of knowledge. Yes, life insurance. Give a lot of knowledge. Give a lot of knowledge. You know, teach people for free about insurance, how to get the best insurance, how to get the best out of their insurance policies, the tax benefits of insurance and all that stuff. Because, I mean, I, I know a little bit about this one. Um, the tax benefits of insurance, the fact that they can get loans from their life insurance policy. Many people don't know these things, all right? So if you teach them all these things, what it, what, what it does is that it will let them, it will make them see you as an expert, to see that you are really good at this thing. You are an expert at this stuff, and then they trust you. Now that they trust buy life insurance from you. What kind of investments is profitable? Ah, that's a big question. <laughs> that's a very big question. I can't answer that question in a few minutes. But anyways, um, there are two types of classes of investment. Or let me talk generally. Let me just say generally. I don't want to go into all those deep, other, other deep stuff. Only do the investment that you know, that you understand. If egg is selling today and you go and sell egg, you are likely to fail. Um, what's it called? Clothes is selling tomorrow. You go and sell clothes, you're likely to fail. I love the Igbo people. They are the best business people in Nigeria. And I am not encouraging that they should have their own country because uh, God will help us if the Igbos separate themselves from us. They are the best, and I love them. One thing about them is that they don't start a business without going through apprenticeship. And that's why you see that Igbos are very wealthy. Although they spend just as they make you know, that's where the houses get an advantage. So they make more money than the houses, but the houses are richer than them because they, they spend even more money than they make. You see the Igbo man, once he makes money like this, he goes to his village, they must know that he has money. He builds a very big mansion and he's living in only one room in that mansion. And his family is just two children. And he builds a mansion of like 17 rooms. And he doesn't come to that house until only once in a year. Uh, so you so you you see he just wants to show that he has money all right so now you know we all get a walking stick that has gold head you get wasting money and that's how come they are not the richest people in nigeria in any case so yes i'll come to the premium club very soon Amarache. so um how did i get there yeah so only do an investment that you understand so you go through apprenticeship if you don't understand the business don't do it the investment don't do it and please, and please, even if I come to meet you tomorrow and I tell you, bring 100,000 naira, I'll be giving you 25,000 every month or 50,000 every month, call me a thief. That thing is a lie. It does not work anywhere. It could work for the first three months, but at the end of the day, it always ends in tears and breakfast. All right? I'm telling you the honest truth. If you don't, if you don't want breakfast, <laughs> you know, you don't want your heart to be broken. Eh? Don't engage in such investment. Bring one million. I'll be giving you 250,000 every month. It always ends in tears. Always ends in tears. Why? Because there is no business person that can predict precisely how much you will make next month. No business person. You can predict and have an estimate, but you cannot predict precisely how much you will make next month. All right? So if I tell you that for sure I will have 25,000, I may not make any sale next month because maybe pandemic happened or there's an earthquake, whatever it is. I may not make any sale next month. Now, if I don't make any sale next month, that doesn't mean business is over. The next month I may make, I may be planning to make um, a million naira, 100 million naira, and I make 200 million. All right? So it's, it's never stable. Life is in cycles. There's a period of plenty, then a period of famine, period of plenty, period of famine. It's never stable. So no business person can promise you a certain amount every single month. Don't engage in such investments. It will always end in tears. I'm telling you. All right. So 
You can engage in one that tells you they'll give you a percentage of income, which is really what stocks is, you know, sharing of dividends, percentage of the profit. So our profit this month is 100,000. We'll give you 20% of that. Profit next month happened to be 200,000. Good. We'll give you 20% of that. Profit the previous next month was 50,000 because business was not so good that month. Maybe because of the season of that business, we give you 20%. That one can be trusted. But a certain amount, 100,000 every month, 500,000 every month, it will end in tears and break fast. Okay. Um, Ah, very quickly. Yes, run a business, and at the end, does anybody have those questions? Can you just read it out to me? Are you following the questions? Yes, run a business, and at the end of every month, you save a certain amount in by yeah. You can use other means such as buying your customer drink. Yes, that's a very good one too. Do you also collect details if you run a business? Yes, please collect details. Collect their details. Contact them. People just want to know that you care, that you care about them. All right. Contact them, tell them, oh, how are you? I've not seen you in a long time. I hope everything is fine. As a realtor, how do I make use of the Suyaman principle? Tell people how they should not be, uh, how they will not be duped by Nigerians. You get Tell people how they will not be duped by Nigerians. That's one way. Invest where you have invested knowledge. Yeah, that's good. Igbo life, oh, they invest more than any. They spend on surplus. Yeah. Tears and breakfast. Yes, so. Oh. You lost 1.2 million now on that on that last year. You see what I'm saying? So that's it. It always ends like a Ponzi. Yeah. It's as good as Ponzi. Yes, premium club. Okay. So now let's go to the premium club. How can I save in dollars? Get your Naira, convert it to dollars with any bookie. Open a direct account, save your money. All right. Premium club. The Babica Billionaire Premium Club is a club of, is the inner circle, all right? It's the inner circle. There's a fee to be a part of the premium club, but like I said, I'm passionate about this and I've ensured, and I, and I try to ensure that everything that we do in the premium club is as affordable as possible. I'm, I'm ensuring that everything is as affordable as possible, not expensive at all. When I was starting this and I was going to start a premium club, I talked to a few of my friends who are in um, the, what's it called? In the um, talent upgrading um, space. I can't remember the, the term now. But, you know, who teach people how to make money, teach businesses, you know, and all that stuff. Who teach these things? And we, we do it for companies, really. So I talked to them and then they said, ah, very brilliant, they're very nice, the passion is there. And all that stuff. So say, but please just don't make it expensive. All right. Don't make it expensive. Make it very affordable for people. So I said, okay, how much do you advise that I make it? He said, make it because we have in the premium club, we have two classes every week. One class is for one class is for lectures like this. While the on that's every Thursday by 8 p.m. And then the second class on Saturdays, also by 8 p.m. is a one-hour class, is for one-on-one. -on -one. So I don't just want to teach you. I also want to hear, how is your business going? Do you want me to advise you on anything? I want to just know how things are going, all right? So that's the one-on-one. -on -one. I can't do one-on-one -on -one sessions. My one-on-one -on -one sessions um, are quite expensive, you know, to just have one hour, just me and you, dissect your business, maybe over lunch or maybe on the phone, dissect your business and just look at it and say, okay, this, improve this, do this, do this, and help you. I know that they are very helpful and very impactful. And I thought that I needed to make that available to the premium club members too. So I decided to do one-on-one -on -one with everybody there and all that stuff. So you are asking me how to buy shares. Is that what this webinar is about? If you want to buy shares, join the premium club. We talk about those things also. All right. So um, I asked, I said, how much, um, how many, how much do you think it should be? I mean, two classes every week. That's eight classes every month. Although now it's seven classes every month. Because the first Thursday of the month is really very busy for me. I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not able to do that class, but seven classes every month. And they said, okay, 10,000 naira every week, making it 40,000 naira every month. And I thought, no, <laughs> that's, that's still high. I want everybody to have access to this um, knowledge. Yes, 40,000 every month, the knowledge is worth it. And then my, my friend, a particular friend of mine said, okay, if you're going to not do 40,000 every month, I mean, you're going to make it really affordable for people. It's good and all that stuff. But please don't make it less than 10,000 every month. 10,000 every month. And I said, okay, that's good. 
10,000 every month is good. However, I decided to still make it even less than 10,000 every month. I don't know if anybody can guess how much I made it. It's really low, <laughs> it's really low, but the impact has still been, so I'm going to have some people. Okay, somebody's getting 5,000 every month. 5K every month, everybody's saying 5K every month. Okay, so actually, actually, I made it so low, I put it at 2,000 naira every month, all right? So to join the premium club, it's 2,000 naira every month or 20,000 naira every for the year, okay? So, so that nobody has an excuse, so that everybody can have access to this knowledge that will help them to grow their businesses. Remember, it's not about the money. It's like a ministry. It's let's see Christians come up and become billionaires. Somebody saying Jesus Christ, 2K, 2K, amazing. Yes, so it's practically free. It's practically free. 2,000 every month or 20,000 every year. I would advise that you just do a yearly plan every year. So I'm just, I'm going to put the link right now in the chat box, all right? So click that link, click that link to join. And I want to see, I want to see those who are joining right away, guys. I don't see you join right away, all right? So I will be monitoring that. I'll be looking at that right here. So I don't see you join right away, okay? You want to do the transfer immediately. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. so that's it. So click that link. That's the pay start link. The pay start. If you're on the monthly subscription, which is 2,000, or the yearly subscription, I would advise that you do the yearly subscription, which is 20,000 every, every year. So, um, so that you can hear from some of the people who have been part of the club. Can we have... Um, is Yubi here? Yubi. Yubi. Is Yubi here? I need to find her. So Yubi is someone who, when she joined the club, did not even have a business of her own, her, her own yet. She just, okay, she's there. When, okay. So I've asked Yubi to unmute. When she joined the club, okay, I'll just have her Say it by ourselves. So, Yubi, yeah, please go ahead and tell us what has been your experience Hi, so far in the Biblical Billionaire Premium Club. Okay, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Okay, so I'll say my experience has been um, most definitely worth it. I could I so I didn't have any entrepreneurship experience before. Um, my first, I mean, I've done entrepreneurship trainings before now, but nothing like this. What, um, when I first joined, I used to join the Thursday classes and I felt a little bit ashamed of joining the one-on-one -on -one classes because I'm like, okay, so when I get to one-on-one -on -one and they are going around, what would I say? So I didn't want to join the one-on-one, -on -one, but anyway, I started joining both classes. I was, you know, I, I started getting more serious. Then also I, I was contemplating living at a point, you know, I was like, okay. I mean, I've been here for so long, but I feel like I'm in the midst of entrepreneurs and I'm a nine to five person, but somehow I spoke to God and God said, you're not going anywhere yet. Okay, so then I was even, we used to do prayers then when we first started. So I was even in the prayer group. So some are, you know, you cannot be in prayer group and not be in the main group. So I, I had to stay on in the main group, stay on. And I, and I just kept staying. But some of the principles that we learned here, I've put them into practical use. The first one was that um, before you um, find, the, find your customer first, even before you find the product. Now, what had happened was I just uh, stumbled on a product. I made shawarma for some people in my office. At the time I was making it, I wasn't making it for any business reason. I just made it just randomly because I like to cook. I made it, I made it randomly because I had bought shawarma bread and I didn't want it to waste after I had um, used it for something else. When I made it, somebody in my office just said, oh, this is nice. If you bring it, I will pay for it. I said, ah, ah. You know, some bells just went off in my head that <laughs> the coach has already said, if you find the customer, you have found the product. I said, ah, this is my product. And I mean, I've sold, definitely sold over a hundred. I, I think it's even more than a hundred because I've even lost track. But the other principle I used was the Suyaman principle. So 
in my office, I made, I gave everybody a free shawarma when I first started. And, you know, everybody likes something free. So at when people started doing re return sales, I was not sure, are you guys buying because the shawarma is nice or are you buying just to say thank you for the first one that you gave me? But, you know, the sales kept coming in, coming in, and the business has expanded by fire by force. We have had to... Um, create a business name. This is from someone that if you had asked me, even as at February 1st, because this business started in March, March 1st. Uh, if you had asked me as at February 1st, I would have said, uh, no, I'm not, I'm still not a business person. Everybody was encouraging my, okay, my, it's funny enough, I've dragged my sister to the group as well. That's another story, but um, my sister too had been encouraging me. You are, you know, it's in you, it's, uh, it's not in me. Oh, how would I sell? How would I market? You know, but all those principles they've come in very handy. The other thing is, um, the coach someone that leads with empathy. So, there was time I was ill last year and I couldn't attend classes. So, you know, he was surprised that I didn't attend one of the major classes. The time you so he came to check on me particularly. So, he's going to follow up with you when you give him your goals, he's going to drill you until those goals are accomplished. So, get ready for serious work. I, I mean, it's it's definitely worth it. The 2000 era is not, <laughs> I mean, he, he's, he, he's sacrificing a lot to, uh, to make this work. And I, I really pray that God will bless you, sir. Thank you so much for your sacrifices. Thank you. All right, so um, thank you very much. Thank you very much for that, Yubi. Yeah, so I didn't even mention that, the mentorship also. You know, the fact that I want to know your goal for this year. I want to know um, where you are now and if you, are, if you are moving towards that goal, all right? So if you have, um, if you have paid, please just put it in, this, in the chat box to say, I'm in the premium club, I'm in the premium club, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, all right? If you've made the payment, just put it in the chat box. If you prefer transfer, if you prefer to do transfer, um, okay, let me just put that there, if you prefer to do transfer. Although, you prefer transfer. Okay, so I'll, I'll just put that there, if you prefer to transfer. All right, so that's that. If you prefer to do transfer, that's the account details there. All right, so um, yeah, so that's, so that's, one, that's one major thing too. Um, I want to know where you are and why you have probably not moved further. Yes, you have, you, you have transfer, you have transfer. Okay, good. You can pay monthly. Yes, you can pay monthly with that, um, the link. The link is up there. The, oh, fantastic, fantastic. Oh, you is in. Fantastic. All right, so um, I want to know. I'm interested in your success. I really want you to succeed. So I want to know. So that mentorship is there. And Honestly, many of us don't have that person who is disturbing us, who is push pushing us, who is ensuring that we are achieving our goals. And that's one of the things that we're doing in the Premium Club. Um, I'm so proud of Yubi. I'm, I'm so proud of her. Because when she started, even at some point, I myself was going to say, you are not doing any business. You are not. <laughs> that, I mean, uh, what's happening? But she kept at it. She stayed there. She built the entrepreneurial spirit just by being in the club, just by being in a community of entrepreneurs, just by being amongst people. You are in, fantastic. You are in, fantastic. Just by being, so everybody who has made those payments, we're, we're going to contact you later. Admin is going to contact you later to get your um, WhatsApp number and um, to put, um, what's it called? To add you to the WhatsApp group. So, for the general club, it's on a Telegram group, but you know, WhatsApp is more intimate. You have made payments, fantastic. WhatsApp is more intimate. So we're doing it, it's going to be more intimate in that, in that, um, in that space. So, you know, how was I saying? She built the entrepreneurial spirit just by being amongst entrepreneurs. When you're amongst people that all of you are driving towards something, all of you are going towards billionaire status. All of you are, you have a goal in mind and we're all helping each other. Somebody has a business idea or a business deal. They put it on the club, on, on, the, on the group. Everybody come in. I mean, what's up with this? I mean, some of you who have joined now, I've seen it recently that, you know, putting it on the group and all that. Yeah, I mean, fantastic. Fantastic. You've made payments. Fantastic. So you get that community itself is gold. It's gold. Even apart from the lectures, apart from the mentorship, apart from the push and all that stuff, even being in the community alone, 
is gold. It's fantastic. I don't think it's something that anybody should not be a part of. It's only 2,000 naira per month. Why? Because I don't want anybody to have an excuse not to. And you have to pay for it. Because if you don't pay, you won't pay attention. And if you don't even pay, I will we continue running the club. Because, I mean, Zoom um, requires payments every month. Um, all the other things. When I invite people over, we also give them something. We can't just say, come and go like that. And there are people that we will invite. The people that have invited over so far are people I have relationships with. But there are also people that we will invite at some point that will charge us to come and speak to us. All right? So, I mean, 2,000 naira is absolutely nothing compared to the knowledge that you get, compared to the knowledge that you get. And even if you have not started a business yet, come into the premium club. I'm telling you that you're going to establish, you're going to get your own business. I'll have one more person share our experience with us. Um, okay, account number again. Let me put that up. Is Remileko in class? Is Remileko here? Okay, so I'll just put both the link and um, what's it called? Put it all there. Is Emily from here? Yeah. Okay, she's there. Oh, thank you very much, Adriel, for posting that again. Um, so I'm. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. My name is Emilia Kun Okunola. Yes, I joined the last last year. I I I I wanted more for my business. I started with my business and started with Malakubu. All right. Um, I think um, the network um, is bad over there. Can you zoom in? Can you zoom in more? Okay, I think the network is bad over there. Sorry, Remeleko. Um, I wish that you could share your experience. Um, but let me let me let me talk about let me talk about. So Remeleko on my birthday sent one of the best messages of that day. My birthday was in April um send one of the best messages of that day honestly and i was so excited about that um she said that being a part of the club one of the major things i always say i don't i should not be telling, telling you but then i mean we teach a whole lot of things so it doesn't even matter how many i tell you here i can't tell you i can't tell you enough all right and then any other account you can use to transfer um no if you can't transfer with that account if you can't transfer with that account, then just use Paystack. Use Paystack. All right? If you can't transfer with that account, if you can't transfer with VFD, why don't you just use Paystack? Paystack is um, preferable. All right? So I'll, I'll post it right there again so that you have it. Okay, so, you know, she said the amount that she was making, I can't remember precisely the figure, but it was... Um, you know, quite way less than a millionaire, you know, before in our business, maybe 700 and something or so. But then one of the things I always say is, what's your target for the month? What's your target? Always set a target. And I will tell you this right here now for free, even if you're not part of the premium club. If you don't have a target, you don't have a business. All right? If you're running a business, what is it called? It's called running a business. 
when you're on a track and you are running, there is a finish line. There is a target that says, I have run past this place. I've run 100 meters. I've run 200 meters. You are running a business. If there is no finish line, there's no business. All right? Even though that finish line is also the beginning to another finish line, to another finish line, to another finish line. But there must be something to say, at the end of the month, this is what I made. If you have a football team, and then everybody's playing football, playing football, and then there's no goalpost, is there really a football match going on? No. It's just playing around. So if you own a business, ensure that you have a target, a target every month, okay? So one of the major things that I always talk about is their targets, targets and all that stuff. So she just set that target and hit, set the target and hit, and I think now she's on 1.2 or so, or 1.5 there about per month. She set the target, she hit, set the target to, just by being in this club. Just by being in this club. I'm excited. See, on my birthday, I was like, this is one of the best messages. I'm excited about these things. It's not the money that you pay every month or the money that you paid, you know, at the beginning of the year and all that. That gives me excitement. What gives me, I'm, I'm glad that you paid the money. Please pay the money, all right? It's important at least to keep the club running and also, you know, pay some of the food that, that work with me and myself too, of course. But what really excites me, payment me, thank you very much, Essay. What, what really excites me the most is the success stories. Kai, they excite me. I'm excited. I'm glad. When I see those messages that says, thank you very much, so and so and so and so. Yeti is here too, but I, um, um, I won't let Yeti talk because of time. I mean, it's already 9.56. But when you join the premium club, you'll meet, you meet Yeti. Yeti is the person who, um, the billionaire, at the billionaire hangout, um, you know, um, Pastor Tony Yoko said she should go and use her voice to be making money. All right? By just writing, how do I get when you don't have my details? Or did I miss any info? No. If you pay through Paystack, we will have your phone number and then we'll automatically. Okay, so that's Remy Lekon already putting her story there, right there in the chat box. So you guys can read it. If you pay through Paystack, that's why I prefer that you pay through Paystack. We will automatically, Paystack will collect your phone number for us and give it to us. So we'll add you to the WhatsApp group immediately. But if you do a transfer, then we will have to, um, you know, we'll have to contact you because your name will show. We we'll have to look for you on the Telegram group and contact you. Excuse me, and contact you to now get your um, your details. So if you do a transfer, please. What I want you to do, if you do a transfer, please help us. Just put it on the Telegram group and say I did a transfer, so that we can know you already, check you out, and just ask for your details personally. So admin will be in the WhatsApp in the Telegram group to see everybody that says. So just go and go to Telegram and say I did a transfer, or I am I'm part of the Premium Club. I'm in the Premium Club and all that stuff. And admin will get to you, collect your phone number and add it to the WhatsApp group. So that's a very good question. Thank you very much for that. So admin will get to you. That, that makes it easy for us. You just tell us through Telegram or tell us, um, you can send an email to us too. Our email address is webicabillionaireclub at gmail.com or femi at femi at the .com. femi at femi at the .com or webicabillionaireclub at gmail.com. Any of those, send an email to us telling us that you paid, you know, the amount you paid, whether you paid for the month, or you paid for the year, and then we will always we will be able to um, you know, add you to the WhatsApp group. All right, so let me read the Milekun story. Uh, yes, Milekun said in January, I made around 450K. I started to set targets in February. I wrote a target of 720K, See, she wrote a target of 720K, but made 745K in March. Set a target of 1 million and made 60K short of that 1 million. Then from there, that's she made 940K. Then from there, I increased, and my target now is 1.2 million, and I'm working to increase the more. The more I set the targets, the more I see myself reaching them. You see, from 450K in January, just how many months ago, January 450k now to 940k, and she's gone in towards 1.2 million. All right, so I'm telling you, man, these things excite me. It makes me, it they make my body they do totally totally, you know, <laughs> you know. So it, it it excites me when I see when I see things, and I want to hear your story. I want your success story also. If you're not in the Telegram. If you're not in the Telegram group, just put it. I'll put the let me put the website, the email address, Biblical Billionaire Club, Biblical. 
billionaire club at gmail.com. It will make it easy for us to find you. Or Femi at Femi at the side. I think that would be easier to um, get. Femi at Femi at the side .com. All right. Femi at Femi at the side .com. So you can send. So if you've made payments, just send the proof of payment to either by Bika Billionaire Club at gmail.com or Femi at Femi at the side .com. All right. So just send the proof of payment to that. That way we can easily see you, track your payments, and get your get your what's what's called your WhatsApp number, and then add you to the add you to the group, and add you to the group. All right. So um, yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else wants to ask a question? So I was talking about Yeti. Yes. So Yeti Yeti also when she started was not did not do a business. Yeti not people I'm very proud of. I like I like Yeti. I like Yeti's spirit, not just the things that she does. You know, I just like her spirit, her person. You get, um, she's always on my YouTube channel, watching everything I put up on YouTube, watching everything I put up on YouTube, just to learn, just to learn. And sometimes I will hear her say something, I'm like, ah, that's, that's, that's fantastic. That's a good reason, as you say, I, I learned it from you. <laughs> she said, I learned it from you. And, you know, it's just interesting how much she now knows, how much knowledge of business. And Yeti is a scientist. She's a programmer. She lives in the UK. And um, I don't know where she works, really. But she lives in the UK, but she's a programmer, you know. She does coding and all that. And you know, such people usually don't even understand business. But she now has so much knowledge about business just by being in this club and also subscribing to my YouTube channel and being a part of my YouTube channel. All right. So, guys, um, I want to encourage you. You are in. Thank you very much, Shegun. Thank you very much, Shegun. Fantastic. So, I want to encourage you, all right, join the premium club. Be a part of these lectures. These free webinars will only come once in a while. When, I, when I'm busy, like I've been busy for a long time. I've not had a free webinar in a very long time. But it doesn't matter how busy I am. I always make out time for the premium club. Why? Because number one, they paid me. So I know that I owe them. I have to be at, in class. If I'm unable to be in class at all, I will apologize. And I will ensure that I make it up to them. All right? So, but for the free webinar, that one, if I'm very busy, <laughs> I may not have. We have not had a free webinar now for more than six months if not even eight or nine months, all right? So, but for that club, I'm, I'm committed to you. And then you have lectures seven times every, every month, seven times every month. First Thursdays, there are no lectures because we have the Holy Communion service. I live on the Redemption Camp. And I'm a member of RCCG. We have the Holy Communion service and I have to be a part of that service. But apart from the first Thursday, first Saturday, we'll have our one-on-one -on -one class. And then every Thursday after that also, after that also. So. Um, thank you very much. Choma is in too. Choma is in too. All right. So what I'm going to do now is, because we're about to shut this down now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send you an email um, with the payment details, with the payment details, um, so that you can have that. And I'm, I'm going to put it on Telegram also, so that you can have the payment details, so that even when we are, um, the webinar is over. So oh, thank you very much. Um, I didn't you already even put the, um, what's it called? The email address but the email address is bibicalbillionaireclub at gmail.com not just bibicalbillionaire at gmail.com bibicalbillionaireclub at gmail.com so i'm going to put these payment details on the telegram group and i'm also going to send an email maybe um tomorrow morning with the payment details so that those of you who have probably not been a part of it now can still have those details to make your payments and then you can join the club this thursday we have an expert in nfts come to speak to us so please make your payment before that between today and tomorrow, before Thursday's class, make your payment before 6 p.m. so that admin can add you to the group before it's 8 p.m. for that class. I don't want anybody to miss that class because NFTs, we're talking about is NFTs are the future. You know, people are already making millions on NFTs, but if, apart from the money you can make today, it's going to shape the future, all right? Paul said it's still not in. So when, I'll, I'll put the details on um, Telegram and I'll send you an email. Um, so you can use Paystack or do the transfer later on um, and work that out anyways after the webinar, all right? So thank you all so much for attending class today. Let me have one of us pray for us. Let me have somebody pray for us. Yes, once you pay, you are in. Um, I'm going to have a female pray for us. Maybe I should have a, yeah, because a male prayed for us at the beginning of the class. So, um, Who's going to pray for us now? Who have I noticed since the beginning of this class? Okay, I think I noticed Chioma has been active, you know, has been active. So Chioma, 
Um, Chairman, I'm going to ask you to unmute now and, um, and just say, or maybe before we go, before we go, yes, I need this, please. Before we go, I want you guys to, on a scale of one to 10, tell me, tell me what you've gained from this class. All right? Tell me what you've gained. On a scale of one to 10, how was this class? How was this webinar? On a scale of one to 10. 10 over 10. Hey! Drum roll for me. <laughs> 10 over 10. Interesting. Okay. On a scale of one to 10, please tell me. 10. Um, fantastic. 10. 10 over 10. 10. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Denise says 10. Um, Ola Dejo. Great class it is. Thank you. Thank you. 100 over 10. Hey. Thank you. Hey. I don't just kill. Mirabel says 10. Thank you. Thank you. IV says 10 over 10. I call it this is nine over ten. What happened to that one mark now? Great class, sir. Thank you. Ten over ten, impactful. Fantastic, fantastic. One thousand over ten. I don't over just kill with that. <laughs> Great. So I came in, lady. Testimonials are good to encourage anyone to join. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I jotted. Fantastic. Great, but much time wasted. Hey, how do we waste time? In any case, so eye opening. Fantastic, fantastic. Great. Okay, so. Thank you very much. I'm really glad to know that you that you really gained a lot from this class. Um, I'm going to premium on Stop It Women. Yes, so Sky Taurus. So I'm really glad to know that you guys gained a lot from this class. Honestly, it makes me excited. It makes me good. So the things that you learned today, please ensure that you practice them. Ensure that you use them, okay? So that you can really grow in your business. So Chioma, um, I'd like you to please pray for us. Um... Ah, someone said something there that I really want to see. Can Chama pray for us, please? Okay, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this class. We thank you for the teaching, for the knowledge impacted onto us. We thank you for the moment we have spent this evening. Father, may your name be highly exalted in the name of Jesus. As we have listened and learned a lot today, may we follow the principles, follow everything that we have learned. And as some of us have subscribe to the premium uh, package. Father, as your, your son teach and train us, may we put everything in practice so that at the end of the, the day, we'll have a cause to glorify your name in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. And play the music. Yeah, play the music. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. Everything where you put your hand for will work in Jesus' name. Thank you all so much for joining this class. Um, I had a fantastic time with you. I had a great time with you. I'm excited about the fact that some of you are going to be with me, you know, more closely, you know, in the premium club. I want to get to know your business, man. I want to get to know you more. I'm excited. I want to see you in the premium club. If you have not yet joined the premium club, please make sure that you join the premium club, you know, today, tomorrow, or even on Thursday so that you can, you know, we can be part of this. I just joined the premium club. My bank can't stop me. Yes, so, yes, so, yes, so. The bank can't stop you. All right. So can we have the music? Can we have the music? Everything where you put your hand for, go work. Hey. Everything you put your hand. All right, guys. Everything where you put your hand for, go walk.